lifeboat disaster has made an emotional journey to visit the boat which claimed his life. Nine men died after the George Elmy capsized on its way back into Siam after rescuing five fishermen 47 years ago. It was a tragedy that devastated the small town. It was thought the vessel was lost, but earlier this year it was spotted for sale on eBay. A local heritage group came together and bought it before bringing it back home. Julie Harrison reports. The arrival of the George Elmy at its new home was a gut-wrenching sight for Valerie Thorpe. She spent her childhood holidays helping her father, Arthur Leonard Brown, on the lifeboat. The news that it had capsized was an horrific blow. And it wasn't until a relative had phoned from Ryup and said, is it right that the lifeboat's been capsized and we knew nothing about it? I mean, no phone call, no nothing. It was awful. I mean, I was 13 at the time and it was a big wrench. The crew of five on the George Elmy had braved stormy seas to rescue five fishermen on the economy in November 1962. Sadly, as it neared shore, huge waves capsized her. There was only one survivor. I'm pleased it's back in sea because it's great just to have it back. But just when you see the state it's in, it's awful. The East Durham Heritage Group is hoping to restore the George Elmy by 2012, the 50th anniversary of the tragedy. They want to make it into a permanent memorial to teach future generations about the sacrifice that shaped Seam's history. Yeah, I think it's a brilliant idea. We're getting to learn about the past in our... History. Yeah. <laughs> it never came back to the harbour. And now, and now, the, now they're trying to fix it up and hopefully it, ca it can go out and then come back to the harbour again. Young and old here have now joined the campaign to raise more than £100,000 to ensure the George Elmy project is a success. Julie Harrison reporting in Seam.